here are two problems for you to try. So pause the video, work through these two, and then come back and we'll go through the answers together. The first problem, can we do any simplifying of the fraction? And remember, that's can we divide evenly from all three of our terms, and we cannot. There's nothing we can divide out of our outside numbers. There's no radical at all over here, so that puts an end to that. Can we simplify any of our radicals? Nope. Radical 3, radical 2 already simplified. So that means rationalize the denominator. We see our two terms telling us to choose the conjugate. Same two terms, 3 and radical 2, but change that add to a subtract. And of course, multiply by the same two terms up in the numerator. Now the numerator, we will be doing a distribute, and denominator will be doing FOIL. Now remember, 2 radical 3, we're looking at one term. No add and no subtract, so it's just this entire chunk multiplied to the 3, and then to this negative radical 2. Our first multiplication, 2 radical 3 times 3, we're able to multiply our outside numbers together. This 2 with the 3 can give us a 6, and our radical 3, no other radical at that step, so we just carry it over. But in our second multiplication, we are going to be multiplying the radicals. The radical 3 times radical 2 will give us a radical 6. That 2 is staying out front. Now it's really like a 2 times a negative 1 equals negative 2. Be mindful of our signs. Keep that negative sign in there. 6 radical 3 minus 2 radical 6. Denominator, it's FOIL, but since we have conjugates, we're going to skip outer and inner. We'll just do our first, 3 times 3, 9. Our last, we know it will be negative, and it's radical 2 with radical 2 is 2. Let's combine those like terms, 9 minus 2, 7. Finally, can we do any simplifying now with how it looks now? Can we evenly divide from all three of our terms? No. And the radicals are simplified, so that is our finished answer. If you choose, you can punch these into the calculator to verify that we come up with the same value. But let's move on to the next one. Similar situation. We cannot simplify our radicals. We cannot simplify the fraction. We need to rationalize the denominator. Two terms in the denominator. We choose the conjugate. Get radical 3 plus 2. Started with a minus, we change to a plus. Using the same to multiply into the numerator. And in this problem, numerator and denominator both are FOIL. Now I'm not going to write out each step. I'm just going to try to be cautious with each of these multiplications. First, Radical 3 times radical 3 is that 3. Outer, radical 3 times 2, 2 radical 3. Inner, positive 1 times radical 3 is our positive radical 3. And then last, positive 1 times positive 2 equals positive 2. And I'll definitely want to combine like terms. I just went slowly through my four multiplication steps. I'd actually like to combine the like terms right now. So I'll start the next fraction. Th positive 3 with the positive 2 is the 5. And here are like terms. They both have radical 3. So we are adding 2 radical 3 plus 1 radical 3 equals 3 radical 3. There's the numerator. Denominator, we're going to skip outer and inner and just do first radical 3 times radical 3, 3. And last, negative 2 times positive 2, negative 4. Now be cautious here that the radicals, we don't want to do our multiplication. We want to just know that one radical times itself, we get back the radicand, the number inside. But where we get to numbers that are not in radicals, we actually need to do that multiplication, 2 times 2, 4. It's easy for us to just slide off track at that point. So pay attention here that the numbers outside of radicals, we're still doing the multiplication. 
and then 3 minus 4, negative 1. There is one way we can write our answer, but we don't often like to have a 1 in the denominator. If we were to lose that 1, we'd have to be cautious about the negative sign. And if we are cutting our denominator loose, we can't just put the negative sign in front of the fraction. There is no fraction anymore. We would need to either throw some parentheses around there to say our negative sign applies to all of those terms in the numerator, or we actually take that negative sign and work it into each term up there to create a negative 5 minus 3 radical 3. So this is an acceptable way to leave it how we had it at first, but be cautious if we're going to lose the 1 in the denominator, but keep that negative sign, either use parentheses around all of our terms left over in the numerator, or go ahead and distribute that negative to every term. And the mistake would be letting the negative just go up next to the 5 with no parentheses and keeping that a plus. That's the error to avoid. And there's our final result for that example.